Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Pitbull's Garage. Today we're gonna do a review on a 2015 ATS 2.0 Turbo. Let's do it. All right, gonna do a nice used car review on a 2015 ATS 2.0 Turbo. We're just gonna be focusing on uh, what the 2.0 Turbo with the Sport Package come with. And what does it come with, may you ask? We're gonna start with comes with a nice set of 18 255 40 18s and it does come with front brembo brakes that comes with the performance pack and that is 225 40 18 all the way around ain't very wide tire i'm, I'm thinking i guess it looked like you probably could end up squeezing 235s on there so all right, the 2.0 turbo is the dual overhead cam six, uh, 16 valve I4 turbo. Um, from 2013 to 2014, these cars was rated at 272 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque. And from 2015 to the end of them in 2019, it got a torque bump up to 295. So this is a 2015. And there she is in all her dirty little glory. <laughs> but yeah, you see, yeah, you see, you got plenty of room on there for add a extra turbo in the future. <laughs> um, but so far, this car's got 40,000 miles. Uh, the owner says they ain't really had no problems out of it. It's a peppy little car. Yeah, it's a peppy little car. It handles pretty good for being the size this. This, this competes with the round of three series bmw so that's his competition um as far as that gas mileage you'll be looking anywhere around 19 22 city 30 to 32 highway this one averages about 23 24 with mixed driving with highway and city so that's around the gas mileage you're gonna get also this is rear wheel drive they do have an all-wheel drive version and a coupe version this is uh the six speed automatic and there is an optional six speed manual the other m shot uh, the other engine options that come with this car is a 2.5 liter with 202 horsepower that's the entry level and then you go up to a naturally aspirated 3.6 321 horsepower so like i said we're gonna be focusing basically today just on a 2.0 turbo because this is more popular and you can get a manual option so it's a little bit more fun especially uh i feel like this is like a level right underneath uh before you hit the atsv so i mean even though the v6 does have more horsepower but it's kind of same setup with the turbo with the ATSV, it does have the 3.6 twin turbo so it is a big 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 jump so if you're looking for something that has four doors and eh, this back spacing is kind of tight here let me show you right where i'm sitting so i say anybody probably under five nine if you cover anybody over that it's gonna be a little tight back there so it does have three you can sit three in the back this does have the suede steering wheel the suede shift knob of course the cue i hear a lot of people have a lot of bad experience with that i mean is i heard more bad than good about it it's very touchy i heard screens break and crack and it's just it's a pain and pain and pain in the butt far as zero to 60s go you're gonna be looking around anywhere between 5.7 to 6.0 seconds then let's see what else you got it does come standard uh the sport 2.0 comes standard with hids uh like i was saying earlier the production years this car was ran 2013 to 2019 with 2019 being the last and i think they only built around a thousand something because it got canceled and the ct4 i believe replaced it so and then price range or something you're looking at this uh 2013 round with 90,000 to 120,000 miles gonna be anywhere between 10 grand and up 
but if you want something with a little bit less miles say 2017 to 2018 like i was saying the 2015 the dude has the uh torque uh bump so i will i would suggest going with that it got a little bit more torque on it you're going to spin anywhere between i say 20 27 that's for like the 18 and then that's used it is a couple uh new ones out there i saw and they very discounted around 30. but we're just going to focus on the used one so i say you get a fairly decent mile one between 15 to 17 around 15k to 22k as you probably gonna have around right like this one 40 30 50 000 miles a quarter mile on this car is around 13.7 to 14.1 around 100 miles an hour so like i said it ain't no slouch so we gonna get here we're gonna shoot to mexico and get a little couple zero to 60 pulls and see what she does all right as far as the inside goes you got your normal setup on the gauges here's that q radio i was talking about like a whole bunch of slides sometimes this mess up touch screen like i said we ain't gonna get a we, we're doing the performance we're we worried, we worried about performance here so that being said we get to go to men, the menu it does have a boost gauge so that's that's pretty nice to see um a lot of it does come with the standard features heated seats um push button starts paddle shifters sunroof and this one has the bose audio uh, standard mirrors you know, all your standard stuff garage door opener so i say finding one around them get lucky and now find one around these 2015 2017 around 20 something thousand you got a very decent car that is going to save you gas, give you a, a decent mile performance, 14 seconds at 100 miles. That, that's pretty decent. And uh, they do have performance miles, so you can get a get a flash, you get uh, intake, exhaust. So you get you have a little room to grow, but I wouldn't go too overboard. So you probably easily can get it down in 13 seconds. As far as regular drive impressions go, it does pretty good. It's very agile or it's very nimble. And like I said, I like having the boost gauge up there. It, it's got great response. The boat. The boat. Okay, now what do you do next? Lower it? Yes. No, no! Downshifts, then bam. It else was a peak up around 1920. Uh, boost so ain't too bad So the best zero to 60 we can get out of it today is around 6.55 so I Think that it's been a little warm outside. It's 83 degrees outside and I said ain't too bad ain't too far off from what uh, Car and driver and a uh, motor trend said it'll do around six seconds. So Yeah, yeah, it's definitely it could be a low six second car on a on a good road and then the best eighth mile we just did eighth mile today it was a eight six one so i say around that number it is definitely a 14 second car I think on uh ats i mean it's a decent car for the money um i say it probably like i said it could use a flash and a tune wake it up a little bit more other than that, it's a good overall car. Um, if you look for something four doors or if you want the coupe version, or like I said, it has optional six speed. So you can't beat that. <laughs> Most cars don't come with that option no more. So it's, it's rare to uh, have a six speed and get it one in a four door. So, so go All ahead right. and like and subscribe and share this video. Tell me what you think, what's your opinion on it. Uh, what else you'd like to see with me review. See you next time. Peace.